Hello guys, this is Universal Giant, and welcome back for more of Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time we removed Team Rocket from the Goldenrod City Radio Tower, and today instead of going off to the last town with our final gym, I figure we might as well break the monotony a little bit, so we're going to be going after the roaming legendaries, Entei and Raikou. Now, if you remember, we released them from the Burn Tower when we first got to Ecruteague City. And since then, they've been running all over the map. So you can see over here we have Raikou is on Route 46 and Entei is on Route 42. And the first time... I think we've encountered Entei a couple of times to this point, but... The difficulty with catching the roaming legendaries is you can never really tell where they're going to be. So what I like to do is place myself right at this intersection between Route 37 and Route 36. And sometimes I get lucky and it looks like Entei is in the grass right over here, so let's see if we can run into him. Now on the end of every turn, well, not every turn, the end of the first turn, these guys will always try to run away from battle. So you'll want to do a decent amount of damage, but again, you don't want to knock them out. Whatever damage you do, or whatever status you inflict on them, will remain with them until you either catch them or knock them out. So, lather, rinse, and repeat until we knock that thing down into a health where I'm confident in my ability to catch it. But what I like to do, since their locations change when your location changes, so if I take one step down to Route 36 and then again up to Route 37, these guys will shuffle locations a little bit. And it looks like they're both on Route 29. So you'll have to toy around with this a little bit. This is just the thing that I've found works best for me because it's at the intersection of a number of different routes here. So they can either come from Route 42, they can come to or from Route 36, 35, Sometimes they get trapped at 38. Usually they'll roam from between adjacent routes, one next to each other, but occasionally they'll jump across the map. If you fly to another location or you reset your game, it's randomized where their locations will be, so that doesn't really serve you much good. I'm just going to be shuffling between routes 37 and 36 until I can wind up catching these things. But instead of making you watch the entire thing, what I figure I'll do is I'll leave in whatever encounters with them I actually do have, so you get a sense as to just how long it takes without having to do the root shuffling to find them. And since you don't necessarily hear their themes for, played for very long, I figure I'll also speed them up so you can actually hear them, since these battles usually take Maybe like 15 seconds in the normal game, if you're just trying to catch it. I figure if I do a montage of all the times I've run into them, then that would at least give you an opportunity to listen to the themes in full. So, with that, leave me to my shuffling, and hopefully we'll come out of it with two more legendaries. That only took about 45 minutes. Good lord are these things hard to track down. But our first of the two legendary beasts, the Fire-type Entei, a Pokemon that races across the land, said to be born every time a new volcano appears. Well, then why is there only one? Well, let's not fret over it. We still have Raikou to go after. And do that we shall.
55 minutes. Although, to be fair, in that time we also caught Ante. Raikou, the electric type legendary beast. Pokemon races across the land while barking a cry that sounds like crashing thunder, even though it sounds a little bit more high pitched than that. I'm actually surprised this took me less than an hour to do. Usually, these guys give me a hell of a lot more trouble. But the reason I was using Quick Balls is because since these guys like to run away at the beginning of the fight, Quick Balls have a uh, four times increased effectiveness over a regular Pokeball if used on the first turn. And since these guys like running away a lot, I figure every time I don't catch it, I might as well just save and try again since the Quick Ball won't be as effective if I keep the thing in battle anyway. But if you have a Pokemon that has Shadow Tag or something else to keep it in battle, you can at least keep it in battle for one turn, although I forget if they have Roar to phase you out of the fight or not. So it's a little bit tricky to keep those guys in an extended battle, which is why I like doing it this way. But to each his own. I don't know how long this video has been, I just want to check out our haul here. Entei and Raikou. What kind of natures we got here? Sassy nature. Eh, not too great. Bashful. Eh, neither. I don't care too much about our natures, but... Yeah, it looks like they do both have roar. And flamethrower for a level 40, that actually ain't too bad, but I'm not going to be using any of the legendaries on my team simply because their stats are generally much higher than what you would normally be dealing with. And you could rampage through the rest of the game with legendaries if you like, but that's generally not how I like to play it. But that's going to do it for this episode. I think I've had my fill for today. Next time we'll be heading east from Mahogany Town and over to the city with the very last gym badge. This is Universal Giant, and I'll see you guys next time.